The city of Decatur mourning the loss of one of their brightest lights tonight. Eli Dodson was lovingly called Mr. Decatur, and as Caitlin Ross reports, he made friends wherever he went in Decatur. Lieutenant Jennifer Ross met Eli Dodson when he came to volunteer at the Decatur Police Station. He wanted to know if he could do the job in his wheelchair, and she told him, of course. She knew right away they would be friends. Eli was quick with a smile and easy to talk to. He worked the front desk at the police station, greeting everyone by name as they came through the doors. His second shift was at the Decatur Visitor Center, making sure everyone who came to his city had a great time. He cared about people, about his friends, even more than he cared about himself. His neighbors only found out by accident he was living without heat or hot water in 2015. So they rallied together to get it for him. He said he smiled every day he took a hot shower after that. When his wheelchair ramp was falling apart, they built him a new one. They would do anything to help their friend. Lieutenant Ross said even when Eli was in the hospital, he would text her to see how she was feeling. Online, friends remembered his sweet smile and the difference he made in the lives of children. He volunteered at Oakhurst Elementary School and taught the kids it was okay to be a little different. Eli made so many other people happy. His friends wanted to see him smile. So last year, they teamed up with 11 Alive to get Eli in to see his favorite team, the Atlanta Falcons. Lieutenant Ross was by his side as he got to meet the coach and the star players. The smile never came off his face that day. He told his friends that was the best day he could ever remember. But he made their lives better every day just by being there. Lieutenant Ross was by his bedside in the hospital when Eli passed away last night. She didn't leave him until the end. That's what friends are for.